This is a first-hand account from a firefighter who was at the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. Listen closely and stay tuned for an eye-opening deep dive into 9-11-2001. John Schroeder arrived in the lobby of the North Tower shortly after the first plane struck. So we're standing there in the lobby, we're getting all together. All of a sudden, we hear... It was like, what is going on here? There's something's up here. I mean, the plane's up there, now there's fire down here. Uh, people will run around all on fire, this is crazy. So we were heading up to the 24th floor of the stairwell, and all of a sudden we heard, made they made that second plane. There's no way there's a second plane. Within seconds, our building got rocked. And we just said, you know what? Time to go. We got down to the lobby, and everything was blown out, exploded. But for the ele for the every window in the lobby to be exploded, I mean, them windows were like as thick three-inch glasses. You know, come on. They exploded out of the lobby. You know, something, it wasn't, it wasn't from the jet fuel. No way. The elevators exploded. They were down from the lobby. The lobby was over here. Welcome to our comprehensive exploration of the 9-11 terrorist attacks and the numerous conspiracy theories that have captured the public's attention. The overwhelming evidence does not support the official accounts of the attacks, supporting a plethora of alternative narratives. Join us as we delve into some of the most prominent conspiracy theories surrounding the 9-11 attacks, examining their claims, counterarguments, and the broader context in which they emerged. Number 12 Remote Controlled Planes This theory suggests that the hijacked planes were remotely controlled, questioning the involvement and competency of the actual hijackers. Number 11 Pentagon Missile Attack An alternative theory posits that the Pentagon was struck by a missile, asserting that the impact hole was too small to have been caused by an aircraft. Also absence of any substantial visible evidence of an airplane's presence at the Pentagon attack site including the confiscation of all video recordings that captured the attack, which still to this day have not been released to the public. Number 10. Insider trading. Some argue that suspicious stock trading activities prior to 9-11 imply insider knowledge, suggesting complicity or foreknowledge within select financial circle. Number 9. Collapse of Building 7. This theory alleges that World Trade Center Building 7's collapse was a result of controlled demolition, despite not being directly hit by an aircraft. This building still fell on 9-11-2001. This was the third building to fall in New York on that day. It was also reported that it fell by media outlets well before it actually came down at free fall speeds. Number 8. Foreknowledge by intelligence agencies. Conspiracy theorists argue that U.S. intelligence agencies had prior knowledge of the attacks but either failed to act on the information or allowed them to occur for ulterior motives. Number 7. Controlled Demolition. Believers in this theory claim that the World Trade Center buildings were brought down by controlled demolitions, emphasizing the rapid and symmetrical manner of their collapses. Number 6. Air Defense Stand Down aka NORAD. This theory contends that the U.S. military intentionally delayed or neglected to use the North American Aerospace Defense Command, also known as NORAD. Direct orders were given by then Vice President of the United States Dick Cheney to stand down and not engage the hijacked planes, allowing the attacks to unfold according to a hidden agenda. Number 5. Presence of Explosive Materials the presence of thermite or other explosive materials were discovered in the debris from the collapse of the World Trade Center, which is a big red flag to the possibility of a controlled demolition. Number 4. Hijacker Identity Questions. This theory questions the official identities of the hijackers, raising doubts about their existence or suggesting mistaken identity. Number 3. Suppression of Evidence. Crucial Evidence including video footage and debris, have deliberately been suppressed or tampered with to support the official narrative. Number 2. The mainstream media's complicity with the official story. Some assert that mainstream media outlets played a role in advancing the official narrative while suppressing alternative viewpoints or conflicting evidence. Number 1. U.S. shadow government involvement. The 9-11 attacks were an inside job conducted to advance political agendas and create a pretext for war Afghanistan and the Middle East as a whole. 
blaming the attacks on CIA asset Osama bin Laden, while also never officially charging him with the crime. In conclusion, while conspiracy theories continue to captivate some individuals, extensive investigations and analyses by experts and alternative media sources show overwhelmingly support that the official story of the 9 11 attacks are completely and unequivocally false. It is crucial to do your own research on September 11, 2001. Starting with Building 7 of the World Trade Center. Never forget 9 to 11. Our hearts and prayers go out to the families affected by this tragedy. Thanks for watching. Have an extraordinary day.